today could be a first step to freedom. Right now I'm just overwhelmed and I just want to go be with my family. Thank you. I'm in shock, like no emotions, but I always knew in my heart we'll be free today. Odelia Cusance and her sister Narissa are out on bail after almost 30 years in and out of custody. Their bail is pending a federal review into their second degree murder convictions. The Cusance sisters say they never murdered Anthony Joseph Dolph, a Saskatchewan farmer killed in 1993. They were there that night, but their cousin, a minor at the time, confessed to killing Dolph. He served four years. The sisters received life sentences. The justice system's not infallible. Make some mistakes. And particularly when you look back at the way uh, we've treated our Indigenous in the past, including how the justice system's treated them, I don't have any doubt that there's more wrongful convictions out there in this province and, of course, in other provinces too. The sisters say their trial included evidence that was gathered unfairly and that they were discriminated against. A possible miscarriage of justice that the Federal Justice Department began reviewing last year. Monday's decision means the sisters are on bail while that review happens. Conditions include curfews and mandatory counselling for trauma. Odelia will live with her long-term partner and their three daughters in a small town. Narissa, who was unlawfully at large for years and denied parole in the past, will live with this vice chief. She's been in institutionalized for, for so long. It, uh, it's going to have an effect on you, we, we know that. And so we're going to make sure that she um, really gets introduced to the right people. The Crown asked for no contact between the sisters and Dolph's family. It's been a really difficult 30 years and it's been a really difficult last few months. The federal review could lead to a new trial or an appeal, or it could dismiss the whole thing, and the sisters could go back into the justice system. Sam Sampson, CBC News, Yorkton, Saskatchewan.